Ray Urias, OP News, PC Gaming by PC Gamers here in San Antonio, Texas with Simon Darvo, Creative Director of the Darwin Project. Simon, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Did you play that game yet? I haven't had a chance to play. I think we're going to play after this interview. What can I look forward to in this title? So it's a battle royale game, but a bit smaller scale. It's 10 player in a frozen arena, and it's a mix of uh, melee, bow fighting, survival, and a new thing that we call manhunt. So one of the most unique thing in our game is, from a gameplay perspective, is that it's covered with snow. Everything you do leaves tracks. You cut a tree, it leaves a clue. You walk, it leaves trails. There's also camera a bit everywhere. You can see where the other player are. You cannot camp. You have all the tools to be the predator and to be hunting your prey. It's a bit more tactical. It's a war for information. And we're really excited about this aspect that uh, brings the tactical much more in the forefront. So this is from a gameplay perspective. But we also have something very interesting that is called the show director. We're trying to do more or less Hunger Game the game. And remember in Hunger Game there is the, the game master. The game master can control the arena. They can send wolves. They can. So there's a guy who can do that in our game. It's really a player. He controls a huge drone. And he is basically God and he is in control of his own reality show. And the last thing that we really like to, we are unveiling on today, basically for the first time, is the idea that the show director can actually get his community to vote directly on the streaming channel. So he can say, for instance, one of the players should be Manhunt. Who should it be? He, he launched the vote and uh, it resized the streaming window. And basically people vote for who is the, who's the player who should be Manhunt. And it directly happened in the game. So what have you been doing to sort of cultivate that community? Uh, the, first time we, the first time we ever uh, made the people play the game, it was like, <laughs> it, it was in Paxis, like almost one year ago. The game was so early, I mean, half the asset was just like polygons yeah. with texture on them and we were like, I don't mind. Let's just get the community ro running right. because we're small guys. We are a studio of 17 people now. It's not that small. I mean, it's smaller than yes. than many studios. Sony, sure. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're not three in our kitchen, but we are 15 and we are like not we still don't have the mean that some of the big guy can have. So um, we really wanted to um, genuinely build it with the community and build our community at the same time. And after each three, a lot of people wanted to jump in. And we made also two uh, closed alpha. And this is the way we build our community. And I think that one of the cool thing is that we are 100% free from a creative perspective. So basically, we can really absorb, see what people think, and be super efficient at steering the game, fixing what people don't like, and just grow it in the direction. And this is our vision. We want this game to not be just the version 1.0. We want this game to become like something amazing and we want to really build it with the community, for the community. It sounds like you've got a very committed team. I mean, there's. I think this is one of the more popular booths here. Everyone's very engaged. It looks beautiful. Oh, when yeah. Are, when, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. When are you going to roll it out full release? So uh, full release, uh, not that soon, but we are... Uh, so next this weekend... Uh, January uh, 19 to, to 21st, uh, open beta, so you can go on Steam, download it, and play for the full weekend for free. And then, um, by the end of March, we will be in early access. And it will be, um, I mean, we're very proud of the current game, and we, I think we, it's, it's mature enough to be played. The scope is not as huge as we would hope, but uh, our vision is we will add some stuff very quickly. And by the full release, we will have more show sure director power, more tools, more, more, more everything. So this is uh, basically just the nugget. Yes. But I think we, we feel like we've spent so much time polishing really it. Yeah. it. Yeah. And I think it paid off. Basically, the game is more or less the same as it was exactly one year ago. <laughs> but we just polishing, polish it. And uh, yeah, had down to the to the the dev team because uh, a team of this size. To deliver a game that has this level of ambition, you just need uh, like Jedi's, and yes. every single person in the team is freaking amazing. Awesome. And the reason why we could build something that has so much uh, like ambition right. in, in, in so quick time, it's just the guys are amazing in the team. Awesome. I think you're very fortunate to have such a talented team. 
There's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of actual, not even potential. You're already starting to pull it off. It's very exciting. We're very excited to see this game kind of flourish and see how the community receives it. We'd love to follow up with you at a future point in time. Project Darwin, Darwin Project? Darwin Project. Darwin Project releasing later in 2018, around March, you said. Yeah, the, the, this, uh, this next month it will be out. But just come, come play this weekend. Come let us know what you think about. We still have a bit of time. We will adjust a few last thing. And then in March, it will be fully open for you to enjoy. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks.